Ello uh, to help you with your analysis in Section 2 of Fahrenheit 451. I'm going to read aloud some of the poem Dover Beach, which is what is quoted in your text when Montag flips out at the women. Um, it's around page 96 to 97 in your text. And I want you to hear how it sounds, all right? When you're reading poetry out loud, and we'll do this when we read uh, Midsummer Night's Dream as well, towards the end of the year, don't pause at the end of every line, okay? You want to pause where there is punctuation so that you can catch the meaning. And so as you listen to this, think about what it says about society, why Bradbury chose this poem to be the one read aloud, and why it would have such a deep impact on the characters. So I'm not going to read the whole poem. I'm going to read these last couple stanzas of it. All right. So here we go. And again, think about what it says about society and how it would resonate deep down with some of these people, even if intellectually they're not aware of why it's hitting them. Mrs. Phelps has no idea why she's crying, but somewhere deep down there's something else going on there. All right. So here you go. The sea of faith was once, too, at the full, and round earth's shore lay like the folds of a bright girdle furled. But now I only hear its melancholy, long, withdrawing roar, retreating to the breath of the night wind, down the vast edges drear and naked shingles of the world. There's one stanza. You'll probably want to look a couple of those words up. Next stanza really ties in with what we see in Fahrenheit in the society. Ah, love, let us be true to one another. For the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain. And we are here as on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. Now, I will tell you that this is based in part on an event that happened a few thousand years ago, where there was an army that was sent along a beachfront, and they got sort of separated from one another and looped back on themselves. And when they got back against themselves, they didn't recognize their own men and they slaughtered themselves. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. And the other thing is the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams. What's that relate to? That seems so various, so beautiful, and so new but really has neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain. So something that seems like this, but really has none of this, and leaves them here on a darkling plain, swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. All right. So give that some thought. That's part of your reflection for the diving deeper portion of section two. Good luck.